It's 100 degrees outside and I just finished baking up some cookies and I didn't even turn on my oven. I used my air fryer instead. My name is Kathy from FabulouslyFrugal.com. I love sharing air fryer recipes, instant pot recipes, freezer meals, and anything that makes your kitchen life easier because that's what I need. So stay tuned because I have four hacks that will help you get the best results with your air fryer cookies. Plus, I have an excellent recipe that results in cookies that are crispy on the outside and moist and chewy on the inside. It's fun to cook these in your air fryer. You can make the dough ahead of time, keep it in the fridge, and then just whip up one, two, three, four cookies and enjoy them nice and warm. The kids can easily throw these in the air fryer for a fun after school snack or bedtime treat. And if you love air fryer sweets, be sure to check out my air fryer donuts. They are the most amazing recipe and are made from scratch and really so easy to do. Are you ready to get some of these in your belly? Let's go. Okay, to start, I've got four pro tips that you need to know before you start baking your air fryer chocolate chip cookies. Boop, I'm chocolatey. Number one, a lot of websites and blogs were recommending these air fryer parchment papers that have the cute little holes. What I found is that it just blew the paper, smooshed my cookies together, and I ended up with these really odd shape cookies, which, you know, whatever, if you're totally cool with that, they still taste fine, they just don't look as cute. So instead, what I found is I just used this cute homemade foil sling. I could use this more than once where the parchment paper you could only use once and then you would need to use another one. And also this is easier to pull out of the air fryer because I could make these cute little holders. So use the foil, it did not cause any problems with a burnt bottom for my cookies in my air fryer. Tip number two, you want to go uniform size. You could use a cookie scoop. I have found this one to be the perfect size. I've got a link for you below. You can also use your kitchen scale. For the recipe that I make, 39 grams is perfect amount of cookie dough for the perfect size cookies for your air fryer. Tip number three, let your cookies cool. You can leave them sitting in the air fryer for about five minutes and then lift them out and then set them on a cooling rack for about another five to 10 minutes and then they will just be so perfect. You don't have to worry about them falling apart. And lastly, tip number four, every air fryer is slightly different. I have the Philips XXL air fryer. Yours is gonna be a little bit different than mine. I recommend going a little bit lower on the bake time because you can easily add another minute or two so you'll find the perfect time that works with your air fryer. I have a few other golden nuggets as I whip up this particular batch of cookie dough. Check out this recipe. We've perfected it and it's ooh, so good. For this cookie dough, you need one egg at room temperature. I have a trick for that. Sugar, brown sugar, oatmeal, a stick of butter, softened. I also have a trick for that. All-purpose flour, lemon juice, vanilla, salt, cinnamon, chocolate chips, of course, and your baking soda. You start out with your mixing bowl. So you're gonna need a softened stick of butter. I just put mine in the microwave and soften it. I keep it wrapped. That way you don't have butter splatting everywhere. Drop that in your bowl. And then you need a third cup of white sugar, a third cup of brown sugar, and just get your mixer and mix that up till it's nice and smooth. You will need to scrape your edges, of course. Next, time for the room temperature egg. All you need is a bowl of warm water. Put your egg in there as you're pulling everything out. By the time you get to kneading it, it's gonna be the perfect temperature. Crack that and then you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. And here's the magical ingredient just an eighth teaspoon of lemon juice. You can use real lemon juice, but I just use the stuff in the bottle. Go ahead and mix that up, scrape it. It's gonna get nice and fluffy. And this is the magic of the recipe. It's just this nice, soft, fluffy dough, and we're not gonna over flour it. Then you're gonna wanna get your dry ingredients going. What I do is get a two cup measuring cup and then add one cup and two tablespoons of flour, then a half cup of rolled oats, half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Then I just use my butter knife and stir up the flour, oats, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon so it's ready. 
to dump in the bowl as I'm mixing. Now you only want to mix for about 45 seconds. You do not want to overmix this. Then set aside the beaters and it is time to stir in your chocolate chips. Now for this recipe, you can do anywhere from one to one and a half cups, just however many chocolate chips you love. And this dough is light, sticky, and so ready for your air fryer. Go ahead and line your air fryer basket with some foil. Make sure you've created the little handles so you can easily grab that out. And you want your cookies to be about an inch and a half to two inches apart so they don't mush in together. Push your dough down just a smidge. It's gonna help weigh the cookie down so the foil doesn't blow around and just help it cook nice and evenly. And then that's it. Close up the air fryer, set it to 300, and you're gonna cook it for anywhere from six to eight minutes. For your first batch, go low. Start at six, and you might see you need as many as eight minutes for your cooking. And I have found on, usually my, by my third or fourth batch, I do need to lower that to about six minutes. When they're done, go ahead and you can let them sit in the air fryer. Just go ahead and lift up the foil and set it on a cookie rack. Just be sure you give them some more time to set up before you scrape them off the foil. But if you have another sheet of foil, you can just sit there and rotate your batches nice and easy. And just like that, ooey gooey, crispy, delicious cookies from your air fryer, your kitchen is still cool and it's delicious. If you're excited about these cookies, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below and I will see you next time.